Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to talk about all the books I read in August. So right now, these are half of the books I read in August. I gotta split it up because I gotta return these back to the library, like, in very soon. So I can't do all the books together. So the first book, I cannot renew this anymore. Usually I just keep renewing it till the end of the month and then talk about them all together. But this took me a while to read. But this is Five Stars. Five Stars. This book was made for me personally. This is just such an example of how like different everyone is. Everyone has different life experiences. Everyone has different taste. And this book is a autobiographical fiction about a Harvard student. I didn't go to Harvard, but I took pretty much all the same classes that she took in this book. So you're not going to like this book. Probably if you're not a college student, that's not like excluding if you're not a college student, but like, and if you don't love your classes, like love academics, you're not going to like this, I don't think. You have to just just love academics because this is a college experience but like with a focus on academics but yeah it's autobiographical fiction so the main character is seven she has turkish roots um but i think she i don't know she lives somewhere in new england goes to harvard and it's at um this is early 90s, so I love like learning about <laughs> a time before I was born. Um, but yeah, this the back of the book says um, something about, oh, okay, this is about, oh, when one reads it, they're more fascinated with what's going on around and outside the bewildered protagonist than what's going on inside her. So it's about everything that's happening around her and less so about her. Because the main character herself, she's not like this wild, adventurous, crazy girl. She's just, she's just a studious girl. But it's more about like the interest of this book is everything that's happening around her and her like wacky friends. But yeah, if you like academics, you love going to class, you pay attention, sit in the front, take notes, it's for you. If you don't go to class, you skip class, you sleep through class. It does not go like this. But five stars for me personally. This book was made for me personally. Next book, My Dark Vanessa. Oh yeah, by the way, I finished this in July. Oh no, no, no. I actually finished this in July. And this in the first day of August because I've been reading it all through July. So I finished this in July, My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. So, <laughs> we're up to begin. When you read this book, you need a barf bucket next to you because it's about a pedo. Let's see, he is, I have to read. When Strain and I met, I was 15 and he was 42. A near perfect 30 years between us. That's how I described the difference back then. Perfect, I love the math of it. Three times my age. So read this with a barf bucket next to you. That's the only way to get it. So I, like, this book is rough, but I can't handle super, like, traumatizing books. But this was bearable. But yeah, just had the bucket next to you. That's all you need you can get through. So I read this in July. I couldn't put it down because every page I'm like, when's it going to go to jail? 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 I'm just like, jail, jail. I, like, I couldn't stop reading until this man went to jail. I needed him to go to jail. That was just put that. <laughs> so it got me through this whole. I like jail, jail, jail. I was just like, I couldn't rest. Like until this man was locked up behind bars safe. Um, so this is four stars because it's kind of creepy. The main character is a child. So whenever authors write from children's perspectives it's just bad to me and that still 
happened with this book, even though that's the whole point. She's a child in like an adult situation. But any book from a child's perspective, written by an adult, just the authentic, what's it called? So like this worked because she's, well actually she might be a little older, but she's close to age of the character, but she's older than the 15 year old. Um, so yeah, whenever an adult is writing a child's perspective, it's a little off, but that made it so much creepier that she was with the pedo and it was like a thriller, like, it was like, it's like emotional thriller. Like, this is a really good book club book. Um, but you have to, like, make sure everyone in the book club's okay with it. But I'd love to, like, discuss this. But yeah, it was just, it was like a thriller. Um, so you have the two perspectives. You have, like, 15-year-old and then later in life. Um, but she... Yeah, she's like in denial that he's pedo. That's like the whole book, basically. Anyway, sorry. It's very serious. So read this book with a barf bucket and then tell me after this you like age gap. That's all I have to say. You're not gonna like age gap after that book. Okay, this next one is Throne of Glass. My boyfriend made me read this. It was okay because I've read better assassin books than this. So give it a four star because I didn't have like major problems with it I'm gonna read the next one this month I have nothing to say I don't know I thought it'd be more action in this but I guess it's the first book so it's not that much of a problem okay I also read two that I don't have right now so I'll go with the ebook first Priest by Sierra Simone or something like that if you don't like spice you're not gonna like it. But that was really good. It kept my attention the whole time. It was just fun. Spicy. But I recommend if you like spice. The next book is The Wisteria Society of Lady Scrown Scoundrels <laughs> Scoundrels by India Holton. It's like a fantasy adventure, action adventure, romance. It's like all the genres. Um I really liked it. Four stars. Very, very funny. Like, humor is hard to get right, um, because it's like, that actually is a rom-com. Like, a lot of rom-coms are just not funny, but that one was really funny. All the characters were hilarious. The only thing was the main, the male lead has a bunch of, um, fake identities, and it was really confusing to figure out his, his true self and his true motives, so that was really confusing. But that was kind of the point, I guess. But yeah, I didn't like being confused that much. And I needed, like, illustrations to visualize. It was kind of hard for me to visualize. Because it has, like, floating houses and stuff. And I just couldn't really visualize what was going on. But yeah, I still really like that. What if I says. So I had to rush through that book. And it's gone now. Because I had to return it. Because it was on hold. I went to the library website. And I, hit, and I clicked put on hold, put on hold, put on hold, put on hold. And I didn't know they would all come in at once so when they had a few weeks to read all these books you can't renew it so i had to like speed like skim through wisteria society so that kind of like ruined my experience of it and then this is another book that came on hold this book had like something teen people waiting like 16 people who had this book on hold so i'm like okay this will come in next year but then this came at the same time so i'm like rushing through this I have to return it in like two days. But yeah, it's my fault for putting so many books on hold, but I didn't know this would come so fast. So I learned to put only one book on hold at a time. Um, so yeah, that's why I had to break this video into two because I gotta return this tomorrow. I'm not finished, so I'm not even, I'm like a third through. <laughs> so it's kind of bad to talk about it right now, but I really like it so far. I love like shows and movies about bands. Um, so it's really interesting. I don't know how I feel about Daisy Jones right now, because it's like the beginning of the book. Um, but it's very interesting hearing the story of the six and how that band came together. Oh yeah, if you don't know, if you don't know Chili Drink, it's weird. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure she only reads romance and like fake celebrity memoirs. 
So this is a fake celebrity memoir. Um, she has like a couple others. Um, and what they say is true. All the characters that she writes, all these fake celebrities she creates, are they feel real. They really do. So that's why I like this book and I do recommend it. So I will see you in the next clip for part two.